So today we're gonna to be doing Venetian mask making and we had a bit of a problem getting here because well if you put Google Maps and you rely on it to be reliable you might be surprised so we're kind of sweating but we're finally here and we're gonna make our very first traditional Venetian masks as a family <laughs> Things are gonna get a little messy, so you have to be prepared for the job. The swan for children, the princess, the butterfly, elf moon, the foliage, the Venice moon, this is another princess, the swan for adult, this is a mask for men, this one is the sparrow, and Colombina for the comedia we have to do something very simple but very Venetian okay I show you just to divide the color then we paint and in the last we decorate Voilà. This is for you, sir. Thank you. I love the moon. This is for you. The moon. Thank you. Well, and the I, kitty cat. It's actually kind of heavy. You told me. I thought it was like made out of paper. <laughs> this is raising. All right, so we do this in two batches. So first off, we just kind of roughly paint the contours of the mask. So most of the masks are kind of split into three different contours around the eyes on the cheeks and perhaps the ears and then we just roughly paint it and then we let it dry and then once it's dry then we're going to put a second coat on uh, the mask also we're going to put some sparkles and some decorations as well so the job is not yet done but i think it's looking pretty good so far i'm making the moon one so the moon's going to be gray and like black and so i'm basically using a gray purple and black that's the colors that i'm using very nice. Can I see how yours is coming along? Very nice. Hey mom, can I see yours? Tell me. Oh wow. Mom is very colorful. Hello. Everybody wait three, four minutes. Okay? So that's what it looks like after you put the second coat on your mask and it's gonna go dry and I think that afterwards we're going to uh, start decorating it maybe put some sparkles and whatnot on it so we're gonna clean our hands uh, from the paint we're gonna wait for it to dry a few minutes and then the mask will be back here and we'll finish the job I make a kitty cat when I was so cute I make my kitchen uh, it's super cute. In the first plague, the doctor used this mask because they think the plague is in the air. Okay? Yeah, It's not true, but we're talking about 13th century. The doctor is like a magician. Yeah. In the second plague, the doctor now know the plague is on the right. Yeah. But there are no cats in Venice because it's an island in the middle of the water, no? And then, our Doge sent the ship to bring the cat in Syria 
in Egypt bring to Venice maybe 3,000, 4,000 cats. The cat kill all the rat, the plague finish, and then Venice is safe. That for smart. that, the Venetian people celebrate the cat with a mask, a postcard, magnet, something like that. That's really interesting. Because for us, it's like a saint. So Ava, yours is amazing, but uh, did you even do any of the work? I painted it. What? I painted it. You painted it? Did you do the decorations? Uh, totally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. But it looks good though. I know. So we had some time to kill because we have to wait about 15 to 20 minutes for a mask to dry up. So just outside of the mask shop, there's this place called Austria Number One. Now there's some construction going on on the other side. Just came here for some drinks. Beautiful apparel. It's nice and shaded. We got some snacks. The kids got some dessert. <laughs> and we got some construction. But it's nice. The apparel really hits the spot. A nice way to reward yourself after making a mask for, for a little while. So our masks are finally done drying. It actually didn't take that long. It took like 15 minutes, but we've been sitting down here to have a drink and stuff and some food. So we just picked them up and they're, he put them in plastic wrap and they're pretty beautiful. You wanna show yours? Making a Venetian mask is definitely one of the things that you should do when you come to Venice. Now, if you guys do wanna go and check out the spot that we went to, it's a nice small, local shop uh, it's actually very easy to miss because it's that small it's called saint marco 596 we'll leave the information in the description down below so you guys can check it out if that's what you want to do i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe for more content from the goatee family here in venice and around the world and we'll see you guys on the next one take care